weeks ago when we started this work, I said to you, could you think about why you were doing it? So have you, could you translate if you need to, why you were doing it, what you learnt from it, what you enjoyed. And here's a new one. In 10 years time, what will you remember about this experience? This film follows students from City Academy, participating in a two-day project with a local artist. It brings together young and old from Bristol's diverse communities to create a sculpture at the Trinity Centre. It's a unique opportunity which these students are able to benefit from as part of the school's social cohesion initiative, DICE. DICE means diversity and inclusion challenges education. It's an alternative education programme and it supports mainly our asylum seeker and refugee children, um, of which we have many in this school. Abdullah, Abdullah. And where I like are you from? From Somalia. Yeah, oh, you're Somalia. Yeah. Your name is Abdullah. Abdullah from Somalia. I like football. You like playing football? Yeah. And learn, learn about my literature. Taking part in community projects gives DICE students the chance to develop their language skills and forge new relationships. What is your religion? Yeah. And what is your religion? Muslim. You're Muslim. Yeah. So, you're football and yeah. your religion. Yeah. That sounds good to me. The DICE project is all about making young people feel that they have a stake in their community, that they really do have a sense of belonging here in the United Kingdom, and at the same time give them language acquisition skills and skills of relating to each other and to the wider world. Hello, that's great, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Car Carmen. Carmen. Uh, cook. I like to cook, so that. You like to cook? Uh, cook. And and church. Go to church. Church. Mm. Great. Actually going out into the city gives them an opportunity to really sense the world in which they now belong. And it is all about giving our young people that confidence to really be part of that community. And that's difficult to do in the bounds of a classroom. Yeah. This is Myra. Yeah. She, uh, she was born in Jamaica. Yeah. She came here when she was 20, 28. 28. Yeah. And she, she lived here for the rest of her life, yeah. After introductions, artist Victoria Appleton gets the groups working on the designs. Today we're going to get the ideas for the sculpture. We're going to make a big mural together, a big picture together. The key thing about this project is the collaborative process. Now, you can do absolutely anything at all. But what I want you to do is, when you've drawn something, then move to another place and add to somebody else's drawing. I did have anxieties, actually. I did um, wonder what would happen. There is friction, not just amongst African Caribbeans and Somalians, but young and old. When you put two groups together, you'll never, you know, you can never be sure about what's exactly going to happen. This work is very good. I learn working with older people. They help me speaking and listening English. Here we are. Point Just do a think of a picture. My partner says to me, you can do it, anything, what you think. And try to do it some. Well, well, Chris has drawn the sun there. Yeah. Other people have coloured it in. That, that's his name, Lucas. <laughs> and other people put all these different colours on. I've got the word sunshine up there. It was pretty first, and I tell you, that was scary, man. It's good, isn't it? Now we can respect to all people. No younger people is good, older is bad. All people is nice and we must try uh, to friendly. Yeah. 
there's some really great things in here and I was wondering if you'd like to tell me a bit about what you've done and why you've done it so that we all get a chance to look at it a bit deeper. What about in this section? What's all this about? Who did this part? The detention centre. Detention centre? Yeah. yeah. That's town. That's not detention centre in Somalia. Yeah, I see. And is this the detention centre here? Yeah. yeah. So it's I was surprised that. at the pictures the children drew around the wall and um, it just opened my eyes again to not judging and um, just realising with the children what they're going through. This one? No, this, this no. one. Ah, uh, this one. Lucas. Yeah. This. Do you want to tell us about that? Respect the world. Respect the world. Respect the world. The, the world. world. Yes. Ah, great. I'm going to take some of these and bring them back next week for us to make into the mosaic. So we've done a lot of important work already with this. So this is really great. On day two, young and old are reunited at the Trinity Centre to decorate the sculpture and build on friendships from the previous week. I think when you're just going through the process, you know, you're just so pleased that it went very well. But there are huge risks involved. Wow! There's a risk that it actually has no impact. There's a risk that it can create resentment among others. But I think actually, for young people, we have to try and do some things differently to make them feel that they really can take the next step forward. This is where we're at at the moment. Can you imagine it covered with tiles? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's difficult to imagine at this stage. It's going to look very different by the end of the day. Do you want to do that somewhere here? We can draw. They were challenged because no concessions were really made to their developing English language skills. And I think that they rose to that challenge amazingly well, that they did communicate, they listened to them, they took their ideas on, and they responded sensitively to the older people as well. Should I get one of those? Yes. Like this? I think the elders also had to think about how they acted and responded to the young people. Um, it's that um, symbol that he had here, yeah. and he decided to draw it like that. So that's shaped like the moon, and there is a star with it. So that's what it meant to him. Huh? This one you want smaller, maybe? Yeah. And do the this wrong. Wrong. No, and it looks do okay. The, yeah. the young that man that I, um, my partner, he can't speak English so good, but I guess he understands some. And he, um, the other guy have to tell him what I said, but he, he, he do, he's, he's all right. Quite often, the perception is that older people find younger people uh, boisterous and loud and noisy and yet they were absolutely wonderful with our young people very patient kind and caring i think a lot of the public have got the wrong idea about these young people they come here they didn't come here probably willingly but now they're here they're willing to learn and they're willing to get on with us all these two days have been marvelous all the cultures getting together, pulling together, working together. And I think the son that my young Polish lad did had a smiling face. And in my belief, that means whatever pressure you're under, keep smiling. For City Academy, the success of DICE depends on building strong community partnerships on every level. If we're moving into, as we are in schools, students being able to be independent and being able to make their own decisions, then we do need to work more closely with the voluntary sector, which have been doing that for years. And so that, the, both of those cultures, the school culture and the voluntary sector culture coming together is absolutely um, important and another area of social cohesion. 
One of the unique things about the DICE project is that it is actually about true partnership with community agencies. We're supported by schemes such as Young Bristol and they of course need with us to get funding for these projects. I think that this kind of project, the DICE project, would be very difficult to do without the extra funding that we have managed to bid for from the Camelot Fund because it does take an awful lot of capacity to do this. Thanks. I'm a great believer that if you need to get something done, you can find the money. And I think if you go out and talk to charities, to other partners, then we can find funding to actually get these pilot schemes underway. You smile. <laughs> lovely. The world. Oh, isn't that lovely? So parts represent the world. The groups are invited back for a grand unveiling of the finished sculpture. And for the students, it's a chance to reflect on the experience. Where? We just, no, no, no. This one here? Mm. I learn uh, teamwork with older people. Teamwork? With, and yes. use uh, glass. And, and? Use glass. How to use glass? Yeah. The tiles? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, so you learnt some skills as well as some social skills, yes? I learn how to respect and listen. To listen, that's yeah. very good. Is, that, is it important to listen? Yeah. Yeah, is it important to listen to just to old people or to everybody? Especially the old people. Everybody. Why? They got lots of experience. <laughs> they threw themselves into it and they were learning so many skills not just of the painting and the drawing and how you actually, you know, smash a tile and make a mosaic, but how you relate to other individuals. And can we have an older and a younger person who are in a partner to come and put the last two tiles on, please? I've learned that not all elders are boring. Ah, that's a good one. OK, that's a different stance. So not all elders or elderly, or old people, you mean? Yeah. They're not all boring. Why? Did you think they were going to be boring? Yeah, I thought, you know, they were just going to, like, sit down and give orders. Right. right. And they but didn't, didn't they? they? joined in with us and, you know, we collaborated, we talked to each other and communicated. So you need the grout, everyone. Yeah. It's about giving the students real experiences, not artificial ones that you try and create in the classroom. And I think teachers are fantastic at doing that but can't get that richness and depth that we had by going out for two days. They've actually created something that is going to last. Well, I will remember meeting with the elders, I hope. I definitely will remember the sculpture. And one day, maybe I'll come and visit when I'm old. Or 